things, mm -hmm. you know, state of the art studios. Yeah, welcome back. I'm here with Moi University Vice Chancellor, Professor Laban Airo. He's talking to us, he's telling us so much, so much information, so much things we don't know about him, what he's going to do for the university, what he has done, and what he's going to do. Suppose he's given more time, he's going to do even much more. And now tomorrow he's holding a 33rd graduation ceremony at the Graduation Square Pavilion. And you're going to be, the, the, he says, the ceremony is going to be colorful. And that's what we are expecting. Now, welcome back. Let's go on with our talk show. Just a little bit of his time. Now, Professor. Yes. Will you, do you mind telling us about your personal story? We hear, we hear you, son of Kibera. Is that true? Of course, of course. I think you're not. For me, I think you're not. <laughs> oh, yeah. I... Um, I come from very humble background. My father was a driver in the Ministry of Health at Kenyatta Hospital, yeah. and uh, grew up in the slums of Kibera, specifically like Saba. Yes, and uh, you know, because he was such a good driver, I was taken up by some pathologists, American um, family. So I had a very privileged primary school background. I went through Nairobi Primary. Yes. Uh, so Jonathan Moy, Omamos, uh, even the current uh, cabinet secretary, Nyamwea, all these people are classmates. Oh, you know them? Yes, I know them personally. But I was a son of a driver. And that time Nairobi Primary was uh, basically a Mzungu school with very few blacks. Yes. And so I had a very privileged background, and I think uh, perhaps that explains, uh, you know, my, my success in education. And then they left, so I went back to Kibera. Uh, I did my, K my CP that time, and I was taken to Duke of York, which was the Lenana High School. Yes. Uh, my father, being a driver, couldn't afford. So I went to Upper High School, a day school. Uh, the fees was 250 shillings per year. And I commuted for four years from Kibera to Upper Hill. Uh, I used to stay in school up to eight using the lights to read before I would go home because at home there was a corboy. Mm. And uh, it was hard to, to, to just get along. Uh, we had uh, our landlord had a hotel, Nubian lady, I remember her, she passed on. Yeah. And uh, I used to make chapatis for a hotel before I would go to school. So I wake up at four in the morning, and that has stayed with me. And I and I would uh, make about a hundred chapatis wow. in the morning, and then I go to to school. And that's why in my family, I don't eat chapatis because nobody makes chapatis the way I want them made. You know, I would make chapatis which you can actually uh, you can make a thousand pieces. Okay. Pieces, uh, pages. Yeah, pages actually. Yeah. So, but anyway. Uh, that's a long story. So I went to Upper Hill and uh, got a good education. There were very good day schools. Upper Hill, Jamhuri, Highway Secondary, Menengai, UG sec uh, Secondary. These were all very good day schools. And that's why I believe in day schools myself. Yes. I believe that if we made our day schools good, you would make it. So from Upper Hill I went to Mangu High School. Now boarding at from five and six. Mm -hmm. So, yes, very humble backgrounds. I, Mimi ni Kijana Omta. I, I, you know, most of the time I speak Kiswahili. And um, I have cleaned, I'm sanitized from tribalism because my best man was the late Muriki and Waidaka. Oh. Owino and others were my best friends. So, for me, I have no, I have no, you know, even, even a tone of ethnicity. I value for who you are. And that's why perhaps uh, with the people of Rift Valley, uh, sometimes I tell them I'm more challenging than some of you because of the contributions I've done in education. Uh, ask uh, the former minister, Henry Kosge. Uh, I've done a lot of work in Tinderet. Uh, for many years, they had never realized I played <coughs> A. In each other? Yeah, personally. And he asked me to mentor some way Mitete boys, Tachasis, and I went through those schools and results just changed. 
And I do that for many schools. I do a lot of mentoring with Tumishi, Chavakali, St. Peter's, uh, St. Charles Luanga, Makweni, Meru School, across the country. So, ethnicity, the dragon of ethnicity, it must be slayed. Because that is what is destroying us. So, I, I thank God for my, my upbringing in Kibera, because nobody knew about tribe. You know, you related with each other. Yeah. You, know, you know, guys who play football, they go to Cameo Cinema to watch a movie. When they Together, come. all tribes. Together, all tribes. And, and uh, it was wonderful. And, and that has lived with me. I, I, I never judge anybody by their ethnic lines. No. no mentioning of tribe, mm. <clears throat> university tribal groups. Mm. And sometimes these um, come well, come out well during the, the, the election, the student mm. yeah. leadership elections. Yeah. yeah. And you know, these all trigger down, down, they trigger down to the villages, to mm. the whole places. I and know. next day we're having general elections. I know, I know, I know. I, but under my watch in Mo University, I would work very hard to detribalize this university. I want us to be a family. I want us to value the diversity uh, that a Kalenjin has something special to offer. Aluya has some goodness. Aluo has enormous strength in technology. Akikuyu is entrepreneurial. If we can harness and believe in those strengths arising out of our diversity, Moi would be fantastic. And uh, even in the recruitment of staff in Moi University, uh, professional staff particularly, because the local, the lower cadre, you have to, you know, to, play the, to, to use the local people. Yeah. We are going to really ensure that uh, the map of Kenya is seen because that's where you become great. Uh, and I know that you know in Moi, even now, if you look at our deans, if you look at our directors, I think... You can't say we are tribal. I, I don't want to name names, but just to scan through who is the dean of information, who is the dean of education, who is the dean. You find the map of Kenya. Now we want to have that go down. And once we believe in each other, it's fantastic. Uh, just as I finished, uh, on one of my colleagues in my department, Dr. Chumba, uh, the son, the two sons were coming out of the initiation process. Yeah. And he invited me in, deep in Nandi, Kapsabe. Okay. I just enjoyed myself. We danced, I drank mursik, I, everything. We are just human beings. It was amazing. Yeah, so it's not about tribe, it's about you and me. Yeah. That's what you want in more. Yeah. yeah. Now, before you finish, we've talked about little about you as a person. Now, who inspires you greatly? Of course, you mentioned the poet, mm. Angelo. Yeah. Who inspires you greatly? There are many people. Um, there are many people I look at their lives and I say, my, uh, Nelson Mandela, 27 years in prison. You come out, you become a president, and after five years, you tell them, I've had enough. Get somebody else. There's something I learned. Hillary Clinton, somebody who turned America, which was in deficit, budget deficits, and left surpluses. You know, these phenomenal characters who, who make a difference. Wangari Madai, who taught me the value of taking care of nature, you know, has struggles with the environment and, conversation, and, and the conservation. You know, um, Mugenda. Kenyatta University. Phenomenal transformation. I mean, yeah, I mean, whether you like, nobody's perfect, but look at what she has done at KU. It's, it's, those are the people, people who make a difference in the lives of other human beings inspire me most. Yeah. yeah who is the role model <clears throat> as we finish? Ah. Do you have a role model? Of course, not in Kenya, maybe. I, 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 I have a role model. But is uh, he passed on, and that was Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Yeah, uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, he he mirrors my background, but his his desire, his drive to get things done, and uh, left behind a company that uh, it's Apple. yeah, it's it's its capital was bigger than Kenya's capital. Yeah. 
Apple, you know. So all my all my phones are iPhones. Oh, all my computers iPhone, are. You have an iPhone seven? Yeah, or six? I have seven already. I couldn't oh. be in six. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea, sir. Thank you. Yes. So that has been Vice Chancellor Mo University, Professor Laban Airo. Remember, tomorrow we are having Mo University is celebrating its 33rd graduation ceremony. And if you are around, you better go there because he says it will be colorful. <clears throat> and over 4,000 students are going to be to graduate. And they're going to be released out there to the world and do something else and work for the country. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you. Pleasure. We Pleasure. Wish you. And, and you are a great person. Huh? So <laughs> keep working. Huh? Thank we'll you. have you another time. Thank here. you. Thank you. All the time. All Thank the you time. so much. Thank you. Okay. Cameras off.